everybody, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here and today I'm going to do a response video because I was tagged by the button bashers. Let's get started. So let's dive right in and we're going to start off with a franchise that I am in awe by and I'm in love with that I hope that keeps going forever. I kind of accidentally keep pointing at it as a clue and that is Saints Row. No, I did not play the games when it first started in 2006, but I did pick them up later on when Saints Row the Third came out. I saw the trailer and I was shocked by how much footage that they were showing that was just epically crazy. No, it is not a GTA, but it's it's one of those games where they took a turn, went for a really crazy, you know, thing, and it worked for me. Later on, I picked up the other two, and I kept buying the rest of them. The only one I was somewhat disappointed was Get Out of Hell, and that was because of the fact that it was not an actual complete game. It was more of like a DLC, kind of like Miles Morales. A lot of people love the game, but they feel like it shouldn't have been a full game, and that's what I thought about this one. It was kind of, you know, to me, made me go, hmm. I keep playing the same thing, doing the same stuff over and over again, getting the same results, and... You know, if, if you play it, don't expect much, but it's a great one. And the reason why I wanted to keep it going is because I want to see where the story goes next. I want to see where all the boss characters, everybody, you know, the villains are at. Yes, they did kick them to, you know, hell and they did have Johnny Gat have all these endings. And I'm hoping that the roles are reversed and you become cops. That's what I'm hoping is the very end, that Johnny Gat got to be with his love and we get to see the very end of his story and he they keep going with the boss and all the other characters because I do love me some Laura Bailey. I know that she got some hate for Last of Us too, but she is a great actress and I loved her in the third and the fourth games. She was a great person that I love to pick and choose, you know, at any of the games I've ever played. So I hope that the train keeps going. We did get a remaster and we did get an announcement that there's another game on the way and crossing my fingers that it sells well, that it does well, and it is a great game. So we can keep going to six, seven, eight and beyond. And now we're going to move on to a game genre that I was shocked that is not going as well as other games like Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter. I don't know what happened to this one. And that is Tomba. Tomba was a game that came out in 1997. I was shocked that it had pigs. It was a weird, funky, look like a troll's doll guy. And I got a demo disc of it. And I played the crap out of the first level. If anybody who had the demo disc, you got demo discs of all the PS1 games. I got In Hander. I got Tomba. I got, you know, Medieval. And for me, that was how you found out about the game because we didn't have the internet and be able to see all the trailers. And if you missed a trailer when it was on a channel and a friend saw it, you were just out of luck. You had to like envision what they said, <laughs> which made no sense because a lot of these games made no sense whatsoever. So it was a good thing to see. And when the second game came out, I was like, oh, yay, new game. Then I didn't hear anything about it. And then I wondered what happened. And then I got a re-release, you know, on all the, the store networks for PS Vita, PS, you know, 3, 4. And I was like, wait, come on, I don't want a re-release. I want either a remaster or I want, you know, a new game. Come on, we got Crash Bandicoot. We're in the works and talks for a new Jack and Daxter game. We got a Rash and Clank. Why not a Tomba? I want a Tomba. Come on, please give me this game that I grew up and loved. And I hope that me just talking about it will start the ball rolling and get more people talking about this beautiful game and we see something in the works soon. So I hope that is all that we need to do. Come on! Now we're at the part of the video where we have to tag somebody. No, not slap somebody, but tag somebody. So. We're gonna tag three channels that I wanna see what games they would talk about. And we'll start off with Dizzy and Melody. Dizzy, Melody, you can choose whoever's channel you wanna throw this on, but you have been tagged. You two are gonna have to figure out what your games are. 
The next channel I want to tag is 8BitGlitch79. I want to see your game, sir. And the final person I want to tag is Zombie JLT. Zombie, what are your games? So those are the three that have been tagged. If you have already been tagged, you do not need to do another video. And I'll throw an open tag for anybody who has not been tagged. If you want to do a response to this video, shoot me a little, you know, tweet about it. Let everybody know that you have made a video response so that we can all see what your two games are or game franchises that you would love to see get a reboot and the ones that you want to see keep going. So thank you. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, hashtag yes. Keep on gaming, everybody. If you're new, hit the sub button. Doesn't take much. Just literally go ding. And there you go. Helps out the channel. Thank you, everybody. I'll catch you next video. Bye. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games.